Okay. Andre, good morning. I'm glad to see that the link is working. It's, I'm running a test right now. I, I haven't gone live like this before. So I was hoping that it would work. Soybeans just broke support. Okay. All right. We're going to go over. Uh, hey, Franklin, good morning. I'm glad this is working. It was a really quick way to go live. So I want to begin with uh, a look of soybeans for a moment. Uh, I wouldn't buy them yet. Normally, of late, we're getting a spike up on the first four hour bar and we're closing there just off the highs usually we we spiked up but we got rejected so is money rotating into equities now out of commodities maybe is the port strike having an impact here maybe that that they're still up on the day so we'll see what happens now let's spend some time talking about the uh the uh report this morning so we had blowout payrolls for september 254,000 jobs soar above highest estimate and let me go to the chat i didn't have that up great to hear good feedback thanks franklin okay so here's the problem and it's this. I mentioned this last night. Watch out for wage spike. The Federal Reserve hates that. Hates it. It's inflationary. So now we take a look at the Fed Watch tool. And this was a 63% probability of a quarter basis point cut. Now it's 92.5. And we're going to have inflation data that comes out next week. Uh, this could go to 100% easily, or this could go to zero if CPI comes in hot next week. So what does that mean for the overall markets? I don't think that this is necessarily the most bullish thing for the equity markets. Right now, uh, it's, a good, it's a good report, but we know a couple of things. A, it's the last report before election. We knew this is a possibility. I mentioned it last night. They're playing politics. They've been doing it ever since they've been in office, and they're going to revise down possibly, quite possibly. In fact, we're giving their track record a high probability of a revision after the election because they have no shame. So let's just put things into context, and let's take a look at how the markets are responding to this report. Bullishness is gapping up. Remember where we're at on a weekly time frame, just shy of major resistance. Bonds, bonds are getting killed as you might expect. Yields, I don't even want to take a look at gold. I don't, as a matter of fact, let's take a look at gold. Uh, this is no bueno for, because uh, I beg you, it's not so much yields, it's the dollar. And my guess is the dollar is surging up. I haven't even looked yet. Yeah. Up over a half percentage point. Let's take a look at the gold stocks. Gold first, not horrific, down over a quarter percentage point, but I mean, Nugget's not doing all that bad here, really. I thought it would be worse. GDXJ is actually up. So uh, it's not that bad. 
It's not that bad. Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, we're breaking out of this wedge formation, but do we hold it? I think that we may. Big gap up on uh, S&Ps flirting with a breakout. A move up higher, over a half percentage point on uh, Qs, and a potential breakout. So we may be covering shorts by the end of business today. So, and possibly adding to the long side. Small caps. I'm I'm very surprised they're up. IWM up. I would fade this rally on the small caps. Large caps, okay. Small caps, no bueno. Especially if CPI comes in hot next week. The banks are doing well, as you might expect. Regional banks gapping up higher. That's what's bought, putting a bid under. Uh, and the biotechs are up as well. Uh, but that's putting a bid under the small caps, technology. That current showing a little bit of a fade across the board. Staples catching a bid. Discretionary names. Consumer spending, I believe, is about 3% rise in consumer spending. So that's putting a bid under discretionary names. Energy. Higher highs. Oil. Higher highs. Natty gas taking it on the chin. FLNG up over a percentage point. We own this. Silver down. Silver miners flat. Palladium now bid. Emerging markets flat, as you might expect, rising dollar. AI. I'm surprised to see this up given the Google news, their AI product. Uh, Boeing. I'm liking Boeing here. I mean, well, I actually liked it better earlier because we were uh, flashing a reversal bar with the highs of the session. I'm not liking this stoke. I would like to see a hook up and maybe buying a call spread on Boeing. Take note of RSI, uh, higher lows and a breakout. So it looks as though we may hook up higher. Let's take a look at the internals here. Uh, 15 minute will do. Boeing looking interesting. Soundhound, down a tick, two ticks. BHP Billiton. We're out of that short. Uh, Coinbase attempting to recapture support. I would not buy it yet until we're back above it, but that would mark a higher low. Meta. Looking good. Now Microsoft, actually I want to take a look at raw stores. We covered our short here yesterday. Now this had a Bollinger Band squeeze, but it fired off down. Now with consumer discretionary moving up higher, uh, do we get a rally in raw stores? I want to see it close back above uh, 150. Here's Google. This should go. This should move up higher. Netflix gapping up is holding it. No. Tesla. Stuck at resistance. Altria. Down. 
Oracle, potential breakout. Microsoft, now negative. I have an order out there to close out this trade. It just didn't get triggered. I think if we close down below uh, 42, I may close this out. We're going to come back to uh, soybeans in a moment. Here's the order on uh, Microsoft to get out. Did I say 42? 420, dumbass. It's coming under pressure. Let's give it some time. Give it some time. Now down over a quarter percentage point. All right, let's take a look at soybeans for a moment. So soybeans, I know a lot of you aren't into uh, trading commodities and I wasn't either. I just like, it's fun. I just throw out a little one lot, see what happens, because there's so much leverage there. And uh, it's really good to hone your skills with technical analysis. So I think that if we break out and above 1050, we're going to have to rip your face off rally up to this resistance level here in green because four hour chart, look at this wedge formation, lower lower band in red, upper band in green. I think we can have a big, big rip your face off rally, plus you have seasonality. So I guess what I'll be looking for is that breakout, a new higher high here. And that's it folks. Um, I'm, I'm off to the gym from a, some water in my hair finish my coffee, and I will talk to you folks later. I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not this is going to save so people could replay it rather than me having to download it and upload it. They put This system puts you through a lot of um, hurdles to uh, post live streams. So with that, uh, I'll talk to you folks later. Be well.